The year 2015 saw the worst refugee crisis in recent history, with almost 20 million refugees across the globe. The international community responded by voting on a global solution. UN member states agreed to work together to address the world's growing number of migrants, all except the U.S., which pulled out last year, followed by Hungary in July. Now the right-wing conservative Austrian government has also said it will not sign up. When assessing the UN's migration pact, there are points that we reject and do not want to implement. In particular, the federal government is of the opinion that the UN migration pact cannot and must not create the human right to migration. The UN, the EU and Germany are disappointed. Because all members agreed on the common goal of finding a global solution to migration. And because it has redefined this concrete goal to create orderly and legal migration rather than illegal migration. In fact, it explicitly says the pact's guiding principle is to reduce illegal migration. It is absurd that the European Union regarding this vital issue is incapable of speaking with one voice. We will certainly be addressing this with our Austrian friends over the next few weeks. The pact aims to open up legal migration and better manage migratory flows. This includes protecting migrants from exploitation and discrimination, improving living standards in the refugees' countries of origin, and exchanging biometric data to prevent identity fraud. For many decades, we've been discussing so-called migration management and trying to increase cooperation between countries on issues relating to how migration should work. We've agreed upon a strong foundation for future discussion. More than 250 million people around the world do not live in the country in which they were born. One in ten are refugees or asylum seekers. This is today's global reality.